question says a uniform electric field of magnitude E equals 410 newtons per coulomb makes an angle of 66 degrees with a plane surface of area A equals 4 meters squared as in the figure below. Find the electric flux through the surface. Okay, so um, there's a couple of things I, I don't like about this. So the way the book teaches it, uh, I, I just don't like the way the book explains it actually. So the electric flux, uh, according to the book, is equal to the electric field times the area times the cosine of the angle. Now all of that is correct. Uh, the problem I have is that the way it defines the angle. So the book says it's the angle. It, it actually says this. It says it is it, it is at an angle theta with respect to the field. So if the field's this way, angle theta would be this with respect to the field. But if you actually do this and do cosine here, you're not going to get the normal uh, the the um, electric flux. The angle is if if I were to take and rotate this, so let's make it all go straight downward so it's easier to see. And then I'm going to draw a line straight across. This is, and let me change the color of that, this is the line. So let's imagine that the, the surface that it's going through, I, I rotated it this way, angle theta. And this way, all of the field lines are going straight through. So your, your electric flux, in this case, would equal E times A, because all of the field lines are going directly straight through the surface. But if I rotate this, if I rotate this, uh, uh, the surface away from its normal position, normal meaning that the field lines will go straight through it, if I rotate it away from the normal position, then theta is the angle by which it is rotated away from the normal position. It is not the angle with respect to the actual field, which is what the book says. Allow me to, to demonstrate. So angle theta, it says, is 66 degrees. So we'll call this angle phi. So I'll, I'll change my color to black here. So this is angle, we're going to call this angle phi. And so phi is going to be equal to 90 minus 66, which is equal to 30, or not 30, it's equal to 24 degrees. So if the book is correct, then I should be able to plug in uh, the answer of E. So E is equal to 410 newtons per coulomb. A is equal to 4 meters squared. So I should be able to, put, to plug in 410 times 4 times cosine of 66. However, that doesn't work. But what does work is 410 times 4 times the sine of 66. The sine of 66 works. Why is that? Well, it's hard to, to look at this sideways, but if we draw a line straight through where the, the surface that we're looking at, straight through, and then we were to try to use the uh, trigonometry to calculate this line, then we would say this is the opposite and this is the hypotenuse. So sine theta, sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. On the other hand, if this is my angle and I were to try to draw a line straight down towards, towards the block, then, then this being my angle here, then this is, well, you can see the, the angle would be right there on it. So this is adjacent, adjacent over hypotenuse. So the, the cosine, so, so E times A times cosine of 24 is going to equal E times A times sine of 66. So, a simple answer. The answer is 1,498 newtons times meters squared per coulomb. But I wanted to show exactly what the book says in case you're reading College Physics 9th edition by Serway and Vuel. Um, and, the, and show you why I think I'm pretty sure that it's written wrong. Probably not in... It, the author probably isn't mean it to be wrong, but it's written wrong.